Hey, it's your girl, Twyla Cole, a.k.a. Sister Cole, and how's my beautiful family doing? I hope that you had a wonderful day. All right, before we get into this video, you know what I need you to do. I need you to like, share, give me a thumbs up, share me out, okay? Because these things help me to get out there in these YouTube streets. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, I just got off from work, and I'm going to um, make dinner or at least fry um, some chicken. And I said, you know something, let me just um, fry some chicken and talk with you guys, you know, show you how I fry my chicken. All right. So let me... All right, so I have my chicken right here um, in this pan. I've already washed it. I wash my chicken with vinegar and salt and sometimes lemon, but I don't have any lemon juice, okay? So this is, um, I washed it thoroughly off with um, the uh, vinegar and the salt and put it here. Now I'm gonna get ready to season. All right, so I'm not gonna fry all the chicken that I had. Okay, it was a whole chicken and I, my husband had cut it up into pieces, all right? But I don't need a lot because I'm going to be having salmon and him and my daughter is going to be doing the chicken. So I don't need all the, it's thoroughly cleaned, okay? I want to make sure, I'm trying to make sure all the water is um, drained off the chicken, all right? So let me just, Get a piece of a paper towel right here and I'm just going to sob the meat because I'm trying to get all the excess water out. All right. Because I'm just getting back from home and I just washed it off and everything. I don't have time for it to, you know, drain out, drain out, do all that stuff. So I use the paper towel. All right, so now I'm gonna use some uh, Maggie All Seasoning. That's what this is. And I'm gonna season the chicken with some Maggie All Seasoning, okay? So I put a generous amount on my chicken, a generous amount, um, not overkill, but just a nice generous amount because we want the chicken to be well seasoned. All right, I'm gonna also use some garlic, some garlic um, seasoning, all right? I put a generous amount over the chicken. Um, You guys, I don't do measurements and stuff like that, uh, you know, because I cook I cook without measurements and that's because I know how to cook without the measurements. The dishes and stuff that I make, I don't have to use the measurements. I don't have to use measurements because it's the, it's the stuff, where's my pepper? It is the stuff that I cook. So I pretty much know, okay? So, um, hold on you guys, I gotta find my all right, you guys, so what I'm going to do now is the chicken that I seasoned, I'm going to put it in a bag. I'm going to put the seasoned chicken inside of a bag, okay? All right. That was one little piece of chicken. All right, so I put it inside of a bag, right? Then the pan that I seasoned the chicken in, you guys, I am going to add my flour to it. I'm going to add my flour to that pan. All right, so I'm gonna add the flour to the pan. All right, you guys, I'm gonna add the flour to the pan. Okay, right here. And I am going to 
add the same ingredients that I added on my chicken, I'm going to add it in the flour. Okay, because when you don't the, the, the your seasoned chicken into the flour, if you don't add any season to that flour, the flour can overpower your chicken and then your chicken really won't taste like it, like you seasoned it, you know? So the secret to have your chicken taste really good or what I do is I just go ahead and add those same in the flour. You see that? Okay. And then I mix it. I mix it. You can also do the finger taste test to see if you taste any of the seasoning. Um, so right now I realize I need to add more seasoning because I really did what it needed. So let me add a little bit more seasoning. All right, so like I said, so you gotta know, you know, you gotta know, know what you do and how you cook and how you cook your stuff. And that's how you're able to gauge, you know, how you're what you're able to gauge, how your stuff is gonna taste, all right? So I added more seasoning Okay, to the flour. Now I can see that it's good. Do the little tape. Okay, perfect. All right, so even my flour has changed color. It's not white. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you guys, you see my bag that I put the chicken in? My seasoned chicken? What I'm going to do is add the flour. I'm gonna pour the flour in that bag. I'm gonna pour the flour in that bag. All right, so meanwhile, my chicken is in the bag and I'm waiting for my pot to get hot. That's what I'm waiting for. That's my pot of oil. I'm waiting for it to get hot. Yes, I need my pot to be mad hot because I want crispy fried chicken. And see, that's something that people don't do. Sometimes they don't make sure that their oil is extremely hot. You understand? And then, so when they go to fry their chicken, the chicken will fry, but it won't get, it won't give you that crispy, um, effect you know what I'm saying my husband does it a lot when he fries his chicken he doesn't first of all he doesn't use enough oil and he doesn't um, make sure the pot is extremely is extremely hot you know and although his chicken tastes good but it's just not crispy so I'm going for that crispy fried chicken so I we'll have to make sure everything is just right Make sure everything is just right. So that's what I'm doing now, okay? Meanwhile, let me make a, uh, a cucumber salad. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to make this salad. But meanwhile, let me just talk to you guys. You know, I was thinking about being a YouTuber, you know, a YouTuber at my age being an um, older, mature woman and, um, you know, a new YouTuber and all of that stuff. And you guys, it is not easy. I know it's not easy for anybody, you know, doesn't make a difference the age or anything. I know it's just not easy for anybody. But sometimes, you know, I do wonder, like, am I, you know, did I wait too long to get in this game? You know, like, is there really a, is there really a, you know, a crowd out there that is interested in, you know, my channel being though I'm an older uh, YouTuber? And so I really do think about this sometimes because 
it's rough, you guys. Like trying to get all the watch hours and to try to get, you know, supporters. Like my my supporters are known as the um, blessed and highly favored. And it's like trying to get that blessed and highly favored team. Now, I do have people who do watch me and they come back. And I, I am so grateful and thankful for those who um, support my channel. Like, I'm telling you guys, I'm so grateful. And it is because of them that I keep doing what I do. I mean, first, because of myself, because I love. Like, I'm telling you guys, I really like doing this. Like, you know, being a YouTuber, because, you know, I like to share information. I like to en encourage people where, where I can. And I love to, like, just give information. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Like, that's just what I do. In general, that's who I am as a person. Period. You know, so I do this because I love to do it. But I ain't gonna hold you guys. Sometimes it just feels like, like, you know, it just feels hard because I just wonder, like, did I wait too late? You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> getting the, just trying to, to see, you know, just the analytics to see, you know, um, who are my returning followers, new followers, and all of that stuff. And when, um, you know, when you read the analytics sometimes and you're not, you, it just seems like you're not getting, that's what it feels like. <laughs> sometimes it just feels like, ugh, am I making any progress? That's what it feels like sometimes. Like, I'm really trying to get the watch hours that I need, you guys. And I ain't going to hold you. That's the hardest part. That's the hardest part right there is getting those watch hours. You know, for those of you who watch me and support me, please, if you can, share out the videos. Maybe you could tell your friends about the channel. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated, um, you know, because I'm really trying to get to the next level. I'm really trying to get to the next level. And honestly, I really do appreciate sometimes I watch, you know, people's channel. And I feel so grateful because sometimes you have some um, other YouTubers, you know, who really give you, you know, it's like, tell you don't quit you can do it and I really appreciate that because you know sometimes it can be discouraging especially if you don't see um if you don't see improvement that you feel that you want to see so I don't know what do you guys think do you think that there's room out there for for YouTubers who are are mature do you feel that that the younger audience um, uh, support older YouTubers. I would love to hear what you guys think about. That. Okay. All right, I believe my pot is hot enough. So now I'm gonna add the chicken to the pot, to that hot pot. I love this pot that I got. I got it from Marshalls. This pot right here is such a, it's an excellent frying pot and a stir, and I use it to stir fry it too. So, all right, let me turn my chicken, you guys. Oh, I'm moving on slow today. I am moving on slow. My limbs are bothering me today. It's one of those days, I believe, I am having a flare. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have lupus. And sometimes my lupus, I have flares, which causes me to be um, sore. They cause me to be sore and stuff. So today is one of those days. I'm moving on, I'm moving on, I'm moving on turtle, turtle style. <laughs> 
you guys. Let me turn my chicken. Um, you know, guys, I do fry my chicken other ways as well. But today, I just didn't really feel like doing all the other stuff that I be doing when I'm doing fried chicken because there's other stuff that I do. There's I do fried chicken other ways. And one of these days, I'm going to show y'all another way that I fry chicken. Something I'm going to show you... Um, a different coating that I put on my chicken, that's gonna be for another video. So you're gonna have to keep watching to see when I do that. But I'm gonna show you guys, there's another way I do fried chicken as well. Okay, with a different, with a different coating. But that's for another video. All right, so now, let me get me wash my hands off again. Wash off that chicken. All right. And now I'm gonna cut the tomato, okay, for my salad. That's what my salad's gonna consist of, cucumbers and tomatoes. Love those together. I'm gonna show you what I put on top of it, of my salad. Okay, cut my tomato over top. Yo, I need to sharpen my knife, literally. Okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to add a little pepper. I'm going to add a little salt. I'm gonna add some of this Italian salad dressing. Shake it up, shake, shake, shake. All right. Are right, you guys? Do you do your salad dressing like this? It tastes so. If you don't, you need to try. It tastes so good. So good. Tell you, my salad is seasoned up like a, like my meat. <laughs> All right, so that was my salad. The salad is completed, you guys. Okay, the salad is completed. It tastes so good. Let me know how do you do your salad. Okay, what do you use on your salad? How do you fix your salad? In the comments, let me know. All right, you guys, come on, talk back to me now. Write me back, talk to me. I do answer back. Yes, I do. I answer back. I look forward to hearing what your comments are. You know? And try to watch the whole video, you guys. Come on. And if you watch me and you've never said anything, can you say something? I want to, I want to, I want to meet you. I want to meet you guys in the comments. So if you watch my channel and you never said anything, say something. Let me hear something. Okay. 
Tell me what videos do you enjoy watching? Tell me what you would like to see. Tell me what you would like to see more of. Yeah. Tell me what videos you enjoy watching. Tell me what you would like to see more of. I mean, come on. I'm interested. I want to know. I'm very interested. You know, because my goal is to really to grow my channel to the best of my ability. To grow my channel. And feedback from your, you guys is welcome. Okay? And if, like I said, if you want to see something, let me know. And if it's doable, a sister will do. And you guys, forgive me how I'm looking right now because I'm looking bad crazy right now. I just got back from work and, uh, you know, I wanted to get a video in. You understand? So I really didn't have time to do anything. I just came in straight. Mm-mm-mm. Guys, delicioses. I'm eating my salmon, my cucumber salad, and a little white rice on the side. Delicious. Did you guys watch the BET Awards? I didn't watch it, but I saw some clips of it. I enjoyed Busta Rhymes' speech. You know what? I did not know that, that Busta was so well-versed. Like, I love his speech and how he spoke. You know, I I was like, I was pre pleasantly surprised. You know, that he, um, the way he put his words together and everything like that. Um, you know, he almost had me in tears. I love when a speaker can make you feel the emotions that they're feeling. Um, I love it. I mean, I just love words. I love the right. I love words, you know. Um, as some of you may know, I am an author. I wrote my first book. Naked Bald, which can be found on Amazon. I'm working on my second one, but I enjoy, you know, people who speak well, who can make you feel their emotions. I enjoy words with great conversation. I absolutely love it. Oh, this sound is good.